Good morning, everyone. I think we're live. New setup for Penny Dog. Let me know if you can hear me. Let's find out. There's always the delay. For Penny Dog. Oh, I think you can. Let me know. And look who I've got with me. Oh, you can't see it yet. Hang on. Mm -mm -mm. Let me remove that. And... this to the stream, then you can hear me. Okay. Let's see. Hi, Fleabag. How are this you? This to the stream. There we go. There we go. I think we got it. I think we have it. I want to say good morning to Carson Hunt, Silver, Matt Arcus, Linda Wallace, Temporal Coins, Mike the Greek. Um, We also have Everybody be cool. There's some mod in the house, Alistair Black, and also Temporal Coins, Alfred R., our resident young person, Handy Andy 736, uh, Jonathan Reese, NCFX STI, Mike Pallet, uh, Greg King, the king of all Gregs, Michael Hargis, Baseman 64. I know I'm forgetting somebody. Linda Wallace. Did we forget Linda Wallace? <laughs> yep, probably. Um, S. Robbins, hello, McGreedy, how are you? J. Chestnut Outdoors, hey, welcome. Scratch and go crazy. Hello, good morning, Michael Coretta. And just another average stacker. You're not average at all. Karsten Hunt Silver says, great t-shirt. Thanks, Karsten, I appreciate that. James Eller, hello, D. Reese Coins and Hobbies. Rayman 6700. <laughs> I'm not even a mod with a wrench. Yes, you are. You are a mod. All right. So this is Brutus. He was so happy to show his face today. He's really thrilled about that. <laughs> and CFX STI. It's on Brutus, right? It's on Brutus. I know. I know. That was the danger of, of showing Brutus. I know. I told him about that. Cha-ching Seeker. Hello. What? Coin hunting couple. Hey, oh, Andy's sleeping. So imposter is here. We know who you are, Nate. We know who you are. Okay, Brutus, are you ready to go do your thing? Okay, bless the boxes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, buddy, we'll see you later. Ugh. Okay, so you guys, like I said in the stream, Mr. Dill Pickle, hey, how are you, Blake Hamill? How's it going, Blake? It's good to see you. How are things? So, um, first of all, a couple shout outs that I wanted to do. Look. Look who's back. Look who's back. Back again. Screaming goat's back. Thanks to Crappy Tim. The screaming goat is back. Spirit and Damien, hello. Brutus's mom, hello. How are you? <laughs> Debbie Honeybee, just be cool. Just be cool. Um, so I'm thinking I want to appreciate and say thanks to uh, Crappy Tim for giving this to me. Uh-oh, it froze up here. I'm experiencing some freezing.
And there, I think we're back. I think we're back at it. And yep, okay. Whew, sorry, you guys, I really, that is no fun watching somebody stream and they just are messing around nonstop with uh, technical crap. But back to the important stuff, crappy Tim sent me a replacement screaming goat. And I really do think that the US government, probably every country's government needs to issue these to everybody. And we can just, when we feel like it, we can just <laughs> squeeze these. What, squeeze them? Yeah, there we go. Crappy Tim, thank you so very much. So as you know, I put in the description, um, asked, so here's the deal. What had happened was, Mandy Carnes, hello, DMC coins and videos. You didn't miss anything. <laughs> you missed me messing around with technology. That's what you missed. Yes, temporal coins, computers are hard because they run on math. All those zeros and ones and blah, blah, blah. So um, I have two banks that I pick up half dollars from on Wednesdays and Fridays. And it just so happens that both of the people that order coins on these two separate different banks, Harrison, the coin guy, welcome, welcome. We're out sick. Um, Boston Baked Beans, hello. Are you still stuck in Lubbock, Boston? Just curious. And uh, so I didn't have any halves all week. So I, I apologize. Last Wednesday, I did an impromptu, not an impromptu, but a, a modified hunt of a half dollar or a half box of nickels and a half box of quarters. So I can either finish those boxes up or do a box of pennies. And I was just wanting to know what you guys want to do, because really this is just your show. I'm just doing what you want me to do. And I know that says StreamYard is still sharing your screen. And I guess I could say hide, but I think if I say hide, it's gonna stop sharing my screen, right? Let's see. Oh, what? Oh no, okay, good. All right, so <laughs> love those custom made black, yeah. Uh, they're just stickers, but if you just look at them sideways, they kind of look, or from 50,000 feet, they look like custom made. They kind of look custom made. So Alfred R says, finish, finish up the boxes. Uh, I'll do honeybee, uh, Debbie Honeybee says nickels. Crappy Tim, crappy Tim. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oh, uh, coin hunting couple says, holy moly, trying to turn in coins or halves yesterday was crazy. They fixed the coin counters on Monday. Uh, almost everyone had closed their lobbies. Yep, that's where we are here in Ohio. So they meet you at the door here in Ohio. Almost stopped for donuts before the stream and CFX STI, I bet. Speaking of, uh, not donuts, but speaking of you and CFX STI, I wanted to show everybody today's uh, subscriber pet, which is our friend NCFX STI, his dog. There he is. That's Buddy. Buddy is 10 years old. He is a mix of pit and plot hound, which I had to Google. You know, plot hounds were originally bred to hunt bears. Oh my gosh. But the dog dad, like I said, is NCFX STI. Buddy was found... <laughs> Buddy was found in a parking lot and on Thanksgiving day and uh, NCFX rescued him. So that is today's subscriber pet. If you would like to have your pet highlighted, just like Buddy here, who is adorable by the way, and he loves his dad, loves his dad. Just go ahead and send me an email right there, webrules at gmail.com. That reminds me, I probably need to put up my, boom, there you go. Let's see, it's Susie Q96. Hey, how are things down south? I bet it's warm there. So today um, it's 30 degrees here and yesterday it was 70. So welcome to Ohio. Aiden Gallego says, it's time to hit up the liquor store. You do you, whatever you gotta do. NCFX to STI, no thank you for rescuing Buddy. He seems like, an awesome, awesome dog. All right, so anybody, anybody, uh, any last opinions? Amber Ellison says, hey, hey, good morning, Amber. 
So pennies or the rest of the quarters and the nickels, you all decide. Mm, Matt Arca says, I think it's time. Just stop talking, Penny Dog. It's time to hunt some coins. Duly noted. Duly noted. And also, if you see me looking above my camera, that's because I have a third monitor up there, and that's where I have live chat. So that's that's why. It might seem weird, and I apologize. Okay. Here we go. Let's just go ahead and start with the quarters. Let's just go ahead and start with... The Brad Burge says the liquor stores are closed here. Let's all take a moment of silence for Brad Burge. Okay. Sorry, Brad. Sorry to hear that. That sounds rough. I really thought that would be one of the last things that was closed. Roy Hathaway. How is it going? Dwayne Mansell. Um, Blake Hamill, I will reach out to you as... You may or may not know, um, Treasure Turd is kind of on the front lines of this thing. She is in the medical field. So she, and we all thank her, by the way. Um, I'm sure she's not going to be able to watch this. However, we, uh, her schedule, I am not counting on anything. So I wouldn't count on it, uh, Blake, but let's just see. Let's just see what happens. Let me see if I can get a little closer without it making everybody sick. Whoops, do you see? That's the camera. There we go. I'm not used to being on camera, by the way, as you can tell. So you'll have to forgive me if I do things that I'm not paying any attention because usually it's just my hands and I don't have to worry about other stuff. Blake, thank you so much. I appreciate that, sir. You are one cool guy. Now I heard so many people so many people give me advice on what I should be looking for. Uh, is is our friend um, Lady Nichols here? Is our mod Lady Nichols here? She sent me a an excellently long email about what I need to be searching for, um, and just for the you know for the purposes of this stream, I'm I'm much more of a silver searcher but I will look for W's in this stream. I promise, I promise. Temporal Coin says, I can't see your cam or the coin cam because I have the chat scrolling over it. Oh yeah, are you watching on um, like a, a laptop or something like that? Uh, that could be the case. But I will, go, um, I will go back and look for some of the errors, the most common errors, and see what we can find. How's that? That puts everybody, <laughs> Rayman. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but I appreciate it. That's very sweet of you to say. <laughs> oh boy. Um, also, if uh, you would like your very own Penny Dog, whoops, wrong way, paint can opener, back scratcher, and coin roll opener, make a donation, any donation you want. Listen, I know times are weird and times are tight and not all of us have the luxury of going to work right now. I get it. Not all of us uh, have businesses that are open. So, and I'm being serious about this for as little as a dollar. That's a great, you know, whatever you think uh, you can afford, that's absolutely fine. If you want to support the channel, I'll send this and some stickers to you. It's webrules at gmail.com. Friends and family, you know, whatever you think it's worth. So Boston Baked Beans, it's a, it's a multi-tool. Jimmy Lacari, hey, hello from New York. Um, <laughs> thanks, Coin Hunting Couple. So uh, Boston Baked Beans, I apologize. I asked you a question and then I didn't get the chance to go and look at it. Um, are you still stuck in Lubbock, Texas? And I'm still waiting for the full lyrics to that country song, Stuck in Lubbock, Texas. So, oh, S. Robin says it's a fingernail cleaner, too. Yeah, that is true. Good idea. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to open up a couple more rolls. And like I promised, I have um, a super loaded show today. I got a lot of things. Hmm. No. No, it doesn't look, do you see that right there? 
Do you guys see that? Mike Wolf. That looks like silver. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> tricked. It's a 2007 Commonwealth of the Bahamas. 25 cents. It's a pretty sailboat, though. There we go. Yeah, I know. Ter Carrie and Terry Clark. Or Terry, Terry Clark. Oh, man. Penny Dog, sorry. Carrie and Terry Kellogg. You know, we had uh, tickets to a Terry Clark concert coming up here. And, of course, it was canceled. And I think that's why it popped in my head. Sailing, sailing away. Who sings that song? Um, NCFX STI, who sings that? See, I'm so not used to hunting quarters that that, to me, just looked like silver because it jumped out from the plaid. So fool me once. Fool me once. Christopher Cross. Boom, says Alistair. Heck yeah. There we go. All right. Well, that's something interesting. That's, you know, something to look at, right? <laughs> Here we go. How is everybody doing? Is everybody... Is everybody safe at home? I know a lot of folks still have to work. Um, I work from home a lot anyway, so this isn't a huge change for me. However, I am now working from home constantly, 100%. This is a metal detecting find. For all my metal detectorists, you know, you know uh, that this came out of the ground because this is what clad looks like when you pull it out of the ground, 1981, Washington Quarter in Gallegos. Thanks so much. Yeah, I still, I've um, surpassed the the 3,000 hours mark, which is, ew, that's gross. That, ugh, hold on. Yuck, that's disgusting, disgusting. Um which I'm very happy about that. So, but I need to get to 4,000 hours before I am eligible to be monetized. No pee. So we'll get there. I'm get there. You know what I thought about doing? Jay Lewis says the goat's back. Steve looking for silver. There's my gum. <laughs> Do I have gum here? Oh, <laughs> um, whoa. I was thinking about, and you guys can uh, add a, there's your gum. I get it now. Whew. It's been, it's been a long week. Okay. And exactly Rayman 6700. That quarter is exactly why I wear gloves. So I was thinking about streaming, adding a, an additional day. Just, you know, because there's a, a lot of, people that are home. Um, there's a lot of people that are looking for stuff to do, stuff to watch that might not be um, super intense <laughs> or disturbing or upsetting. So uh, I was thinking about it, but you all let me know if that's something that you're interested in. You let me know. All right, let's see. See, I'm looking for the W's. I want to make my, my quarter coin roll hunters happy, like coin hunting couple. I received a message, not, not from coin hunting couple, mind you, but from somebody else that said that, uh, that they probably were cringing that I was on Wednesday, not looking at the quarters more closely, but, uh, I promise you, I do go back and look at all these more in detail. Okay. I promise, promise. Linda Wallace says that would be great. Ray Hathaway, the more the gooder. I like your grammar, sir. Mike the Greek evening stream. Sure. It could be an evening stream. It could be a daytime stream. Um, I, as you probably know, if you've watched this stream enough that I'm more of a daytime person than an evening person, but I will do whatever the group decides. So Andy, Andy says I would watch. So, and you know what? I just realized once again, Oh, you want me to just toss the wrapper over my shoulder? I can do that. That's fine. I'll just, I just have to pick it up later though. So there's that. I realized that once again, I asked Boston Baked Beans 
if he was stuck in Lubbock and I didn't wait for the answer. So, oh, there he goes. I, I scrolled up. He's back home. Good. I'm glad that you are back home. All right. Yay. We have to catch you at all corners of the day. Mike the Greek says, yep. Okay. I think that I will do that. I will add another day and uh, it's probably just going to be hunting um, pennies or nickels, whatever I can get my hands on. As you guys know, things are a little bit weird right now, especially with banks. So uh, we can, we take what we can get, right? So, oh my gosh, TBS Coin Hunter, how about a 24 hour stream? I've been stuck in this room for eight days awaiting my COVID-19 test results. You know, you mentioned that on Wednesday, I meant to follow up with you. I'm so sorry that you're in that situation. Um, and TBS, you don't have to share this with us, but are you at home? Are you, you said stuck in this room, so you're in a room at home. Um, but wow, I would think that the results would come back uh, sooner than that. Gosh, I would hope so. How about the Penny Dog cooking show? Nobody wants to see that. Nobody, nobody wants to see that. I don't know if, you know, the lockdown happens for every state, then you might be like, sure, why not? Let's see, let's see Penny Dog cook something. I don't know. What, what do you got next? Okay, so I want to show you guys, like I said, I have a bunch of stuff. I, you know, I have my notes. I like my spreadsheets, but I've got too many monitors and streams going, uh, screens going rather. So I think it's just time to show this because, and you know, you know what I'm going to show, right? You know, right? There you go. You're welcome, especially coin hunting couple. There you go. Bubble butt. That's absolutely right. So I'm just going to start off. I don't think that Storm and CA is in the house, is he? Is Storm and CA in the house? Because for a long time, he was like, listen, Penny Dog, I can name any show that you yeah, Brutus's mom, you will see grumpy Penny Dog if she streams 24 hours or I just fall asleep. I mean, it's it's going to be rough. But Storm and CA, he was, you know, all like, Penny Dog, there is not a show that uh, I can't get. And he said that once I said that out loud to everybody that I jinxed him, which could be the case because he hasn't gotten one lately. And I don't think he's in the stream. Now, this show was only around for one season. And to be honest, I was three. So I never watched this. Although all the episodes are on YouTube and I've watched them. And whew, let's just say in the 70s and 80s, there were so many shows, sitcoms and otherwise that had a lot of monkeys in them. And uh, this one is added to the list. I want to see who can get this one. For millions of years, Earth was fertile and rich. Then pollution and waste began to take their toll. Only a handful of scientists remain. This is their achievement. A mobile storehouse of scientific knowledge, manned by a highly trained crew of young people. Entry number one. I, Jonah, Ruth, Samuel, and Adam are fully aware of the dangers we face as we venture into unknown, maybe even hostile areas. Yep. Anybody? Anybody? That's very kind of you, Alistair, but <laughs> right? Who said performance anxiety in <clears throat> Baseman 64? Yeah, I'm just not used to, you know, showing my face. I have to worry about, you know, like what I'm doing and what I'm scratching and stuff. You know, it, there's a lot to think about. There's a lot to think about. Uh, Mike Hargis, have you, have you, um, a voice, you have a voice for radio or voiceover work. Have you ever done either back in the day? Like when I was in college, I was a DJ, but that was a million years ago. And that was like a, a gig I did, like I said, in college. So wasn't a thing. Yes. Greg King, the King of all Gregs. That show was arc two, arc two. So, and it's pretty, um, 
interesting. I mean, that might be us in the future. It's just going to be a group of scientists and a monkey saving the planet. It, that could be it, us very, very soon. I am so happy that you guys are here with me. I hope you're having fun. We're just going to hang out for a couple hours. We're going to look at these quarters, the rest of the box from Wednesday, and the rest of the nickel box from Wednesday, see what we can find. So, oh, Baseman64, I gotcha. Yeah, it was him. Yeah, he was He was super all like, oh, Penny Dog, there's, you know, no, no show I don't know. And then as soon as I said it out loud, he was like, oh, and he even mentioned that in discord the other night, which I thought was really funny. So we have, we have a couple of really awesome. And I mean, super awesome giveaways today too. our mid box giveaway compliments of Baseman 64. You guys, are you ready for this? Are you, are you ready for this? Come on. Oh boy. There we go. Uh Oh, now I got it all. Oh, that's the thing with these, these flips. They're super cool and easy, but then things slide around on the sticky flips, the self-adhesive ones. Uh oh, I don't want to mess with it too much. This is, now it's all whopper jawed, an uncirculated 1964. Look how beautiful that is. Please see Papa Crypto's message. Yes, ma'am. Let's see. Do, do, do. Let me scroll up. <clears throat> okay, Papa Cryptos, thank you so much. You are going to get your very own Penny Dog paint can opener, coin roll opener, uh, back scratcher, ear picker. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and if you guys would like your own, send any amount donation to webrules at gmail.com. That's PayPal friends and family. And again, I know that times are tight for everybody. So uh, whatever you think is fair and that's great. And I will send it and I'll pay for the shipping. Absolutely fine. But back to the mid box giveaway. This is compliments of Baseman 64. This is a beautiful 64 uncirculated Kennedy. That is awesome. What was your DJ name? Carrie and Terry Kellogg. <laughs> I, I'm embarrassed to tell you. It is not that it's really embarrassing. So this was in the 90s. And back then, I was told that a lot of DJ names were Irish. Like the last names were Irish. Like Mick something, blah, blah, blah. So I wanted McCoy. And, uh, but so, which made me think of Love Boat, Julie McCoy. It wasn't Julie McCoy, but I don't know why I picked Lori. I went to, I remember, again, it was the 90s. So I went to the phone book and I looked through all the Mick <laughs> last names in the phone book and I liked McCoy. And then I picked Lori. So it was Lori McCoy. Uh, and it was Power 105, Athens, Hottest Hits. There you go. So that's our, this is our end of stream giveaway. Look at this, you guys. Again, compliments of Baseman64. This is a 1970D. Check, whoa, that out. Boom, yeah, Karsten. <laughs> Bill Gibson, hello, it's good to see you. Thank you, Baseman64. And I've got a couple others I'm going to save for Wednesday. Um, so, Penny McCoy. So, I appreciate this so very much. Breeze for me, 721. Hey, how are you? It's good to see you. Was chatting with you last night on Saka Plata's stream. There we go. And again, if you aren't friends with Baseman64 on YouTube, please take a moment and... Uh, go give him some YouTube love because he's starting to live stream and I know that he would appreciate it right now. And I appreciate him and all you guys. Look, it's Mary Me. Hey, Mary Me. Tilly Cheese, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Fleabag says, I've got an empty spot in my book. Okay, let me check one thing and then I'm gonna get right back to this. Here we go. 
I just had Brutus. Uh, Brutus was saying that he he wants to make an appearance later. Has everybody else experienced that um, these Block Island 2018s are super shiny all the time? Like every time I see one. Temporal Coins, you were? You were a DJ too in college? What was your name? Tell me, tell me. All right. Somebody has asked me to check something. So everybody entertain themselves while I check this out. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I greatly appreciate that again, Papa Cryptos. I will send that your way for sure. Not this one. I'll give you a brand new one. <laughs> I only have... I only have like a box of them. I only have, I only have a few left. I only have a few left. So I think, I think we'll, <laughs> uh, Alistair says, yep, I've always, yeah, it's weird. They kind of always throw me off because I'm thinking it's going to be something much better than it actually is. And uh, so how many of you have found 2019 W's in the wild? Because all the ones I have that I have in my possession were given to me from really cool people, um, such as TBS Coin Hunter. But I have never, I don't hunt that many quarters. And I think I've been honest about that. But I always do look for them in all my change and everything. So, but I know some people have, have lucked out. Uh, TBS Coin Hunter being one of the people that found literally boxes and rolls and rolls of them. Oh, who who says I found a Warren Pacific W in my change exactly once. Hey, Roy says he's found five. Oh, base man has 15 W's. Luke Wilson found one at McDonald's, a free range. <laughs> free range. That's exactly no temporal coins. Temporal coins. Tell me, sir, your name was not Rock and Rob. Hold on. For real, your name was Rock and Rob. King Sniper. Hell. That is fantastic. Do you have any tapes? Do you have any tapes from when you were in Rock and Rob? Please hit that like button if you haven't. I think most of you have. We've got 57 watching and 55 thumbs up. So I appreciate that. So Temporal Coin says, yep, I've got tapes. You have tapes? Well, I have tapes too. So maybe Rock and Rob. Everybody be sure to call Temporal Coins Rock and Rob, right? You know, from now on. Uh, so the thing about my, the station that I played, so I went to school at Ohio University, which is a big school. It's actually, I mean, there was 20,000 students, but it was literally in the middle of nowhere. It was in um, Southeast Ohio, which is the foothills of Appalachia. And there were no, I mean, it was two miles, two miles, two hours to the nearest big city. So uh, there was nothing out there. And um, there were obviously a lot of locals and they wanted to hear uh, not only, they wanted to hear, what did they call it? Adult contemporary which at the time was a lot of Rod Stewart, John Cicada, Celine Dion, kind of like your more soft rock. And you put that with a bunch of 20,000 um, students, college students, and that didn't mesh very well. So <laughs> Mike the Greek says, gross, blah. Papa Cryptos, thank you so much for, you know, I, the, as soon as I started thinking about um, coin roll hunting and, and well, live streaming it, I thought it would be super cool to have uh, coin roll openers. I just thought that that would be fun. How about we just dive right in to the next piece that I have for you, which is the best, worst local commercials. So this is kind of a new thing in the past couple of shows that I've been wanting to show you. This one, the acting on this one, I'm pretty sure that your local high school students could uh, do better than this acting. Um, 
Woohoo! This is a 25 cent Canadian, a 20 or yeah, 2007. Wait, was it Canadian? No, Bahamas. I apologize. I apologize. There you go. I'll put that right there. All right. So here you go. This is best, worst local commercials. And see if you can get the irony in what I see in this. Hello? Jim, it's Susie. Our house is on fire. Can you come over? Of course. I'm on my way. Hello, this is Cal. Cal, this is Mike Case. Hi, what's up, Mike? My boy just wrecked the car. Is your son hurt? Not yet. Hello? Kurt, this is Leonard. I got a business opportunity I'd like to discuss with you. Why don't you uh, meet me in the office in about a half hour? You've, You've got, got friends, friends in the insurance business. business. So if her house is on fire, just a thought, <clears throat> if her house is on fire, um, first I would get out of the house. Second, once I was way out of the house, I would call the fire department, not my insurance agent. That would probably be about the sixth call I would make. So, <laughs> and she stands there on the phone, Greg King says, yeah, exactly. It, who says, what the heck was that even supposed to advertise? Yeah, that was an insurance agent. And those were just wonderful actors that um, were telling you of all the situations that you might find yourself in that you need to contact your insur insurance agent with at all hours of the day and night. So <laughs> this is Susie. My house is on fire. Can you come over? I also like the guy with the very serious, um, what do you think that is? I think that's just Swamp Thing. That was like, my son wrecked the car. I think he's straight up Wisconsin. Oh, Swampy 67. Boo, boo. Way to get investigated for arson. TBS, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that's so funny. All right, I'm going to start looking through these a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker. I know it's going to drive a lot of you nuts. I know. It's okay. I promise you. Just take a deep breath. I promise you I will look through them later for all of the airs that you told me to look for. <laughs> Basement 64. My house is on fire. Can you come over? We're doing marshmallows later. It's going to be fun. With the embers. <laughs> <laughs> Can you come over? Oh, that is so funny. You guys are hilarious for real. So a couple of things that I made note that I wanted to say is, um, as you guys know, our buddy treasure turd obviously is not here. And I don't know, to be quite honest, if we are going to see her anytime soon. She is on the front lines with all of this stuff. And uh, I just wanted to take a minute to thank her and everybody else that is on the front lines trying to sort all this out, but also people that are volunteering to help um, our you know vulnerable communities and people, our delivery drivers that are still out there doing stuff, people that are st still serving food and carry out and all that stuff. Um, even our banks, you know, I mean, got to keep things moving. And I appreciate anybody who is still doing all that stuff. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just wanted to put that out there, but especially to our friend treasure turd, please absolutely stay safe. Um, <laughs> I will Alistair. I'll have to load it up here. I'll have to find it and load it up. Oh, coin hunting couple can't get quarters. And you're feeling, <laughs> you're feeling it. So coin hunting couple gets from the laundromat, you mean? Because I know you get, uh, you basically buy from your local laundromat, all those quarters. So is the laundromat closed? Ugh, where are all those people doing their laundry? Like in the river on a brick? Back in my day, we washed our skivvies on a rock in the river. I mean, could be. That could happen. Hey, Butch, how are you? Butch, what is 
Uh, I am so happy to see you. You know, I think you and I are on opposite schedules. When I wake up in the morning to go to work, you've been streaming for like three hours with uh, British British coin. Yeah, see, can't remember. But um, I pop in there every once in a while, but it's good to see you. It's good to see you. It's Susie Q96. I know exactly what you're talking about, and I will keep an eye on it. And everybody, if there's somebody in the chat, see, this is one of those things that I shouldn't be scratching my face with my gloves. Hold on. Hold, please. Okay. I scratched it with a paper towel. Is everybody else's hands, like, so dry? That's okay. It's worth it. Um, if there's somebody in chat that you have not made YouTube friends with, please go and do it. You know what? I'm thinking after this roll, let's just do a giveaway. Let's just do a giveaway. And uh, Baseman64, if you're cool with it, I'm just going to, we're just going to do your giveaways, even the extra two. So let's just, let's just do that. I think everybody, Mike the Greek says, dry and quick use a multi-tool. I can Scratch, 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 scratch. Probably feel good. All right, hold on. Let me get the other thing I had to pay attention to when um, I was going to, you know, have umpteen cameras going is what was behind me. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I've got so much stuff back there. Do I have anything that's totally embarrassing? Baseband64 says, you're the boss, Penny Dog. Okay. Wow, these are some really awesome. It's it's hard to give these away. They're beautiful, but I think they're amazing. Okay. So at the request of, I'm going to wait on that one. At the request of a couple people, they wanted me to start using a random, a random number generator such as this. Do you see it? There we go. Because apparently... I continue to pick the same numbers, which is absolutely true. I, I do. I do keep picking the same numbers, and now I can't find – there I am. All right. <clears throat> Rayman6700 says, I've been giving $10 Starbucks uh, gift cards to my normal delivery people, Amazon dude and UPS dude, as well as my mail carrier. Absolutely. Mail carriers, that's who I forgot. Um, absolutely. If you can afford it, <laughs> you guys, 43, 123. Uh, then please do even five bucks here or there. I'm sure they greatly appreciate it because they're still serving us. So, okay. So check out another gift, another give up sponsored giveaway from our friend Baseman64. It's a 1963 uncirculated Benji. Check that out. Baseman, again, thank you. Thank you. Let me write some stuff down here. So I don't forget. Um, we'll just call this giveaway baseman 64. Uh, and today is the 21st. And happy spring, everybody. I know spring was first day of spring was yesterday. I think so. I'm not really sure. Okay, so let's hear the rules, uh, compliments of the voiceover of our buddy Treasure Turd. Here we go. Hey, loyal viewers, it's time for a giveaway. We're going to put a range of numbers in the chat. Once you see the range, make your guess, but only guess once. If you guess more than once, we will only accept your first guess. We follow Price is Right rules here, i.e. the closest without going over wins. In the event of a tie, we will select the person who guessed first as they appear on Penny Dog's screen. Not your screen, not your grandma's screen, not your creepy neighbor's screen. Okay, everyone ready? Let's go. <laughs> there we go. Let me get that out of the way. And let's see. Boop. And Galagos, thank you so much. You guys are so, so very kind. Is this, speaking of kind, Baseman64, that is amazing. All right. Hang on. We've got 58 people watching now. And I wanted to say thank you so much to anybody that is watching. I sure do appreciate it. Wait until you see it. Remember, guess only once, and it's with uh, closest without going over. The range is 1 to 75. Go ahead and put in your guess and enjoy this. 
Okay. Awesome. Is everybody in? <laughs> Is everybody in? And like I said, I was going to use the random. Let me see. Oh boy. That's, there we go. Up to 75. I'll wait to see that everybody's in. Nick Molnar. Hello. <laughs> I just love that dog. Raining Silver, how's it going? Is everybody in? We're doing a giveaway. Compliments of Baseman 64. It's an uncirculated Benji half dollar. Pick a number between one and 75. Only guess once. Closest without going over. <laughs> and I'm going to say stop. And let's go ahead. I've got this one to 75 in the random number generator. 71. The number is 71. Nick, I got you. I know you, you popped in late. So, all right. The number is 71. Let me scroll up. <laughs> okay. Closest without going over. Spirit and Damien. Spirit and Damien, I have to ask you this. Are you of age? Are you 18 or over? Because that is the rule of my stream and of YouTube. So please let me know. Let me know. Krabby Tim says, I overbid. I, I overbid on that one. All right, let me get out of there. And no, but my dad is. <laughs> Spirit and Damien, okay. So I'll tell you what, Spirit and Damien, have your dad please um, email me at, I'm going to show it to you right here. Hold on. Is your dad watching right now? Hopefully. Have your dad email me at webrules at gmail.com with name and shipping address and the thumbs up that it's okay. All right. All good. Okay. Let me write this down and we shall keep going with the hunt. <clears throat> I'll show them later. Okay. I'm holding you to it. I'm holding you to it, Spirit and Damien. Okay. <clears throat> Spirit and Damien. And I'm sorry if I'm clearing my throat a lot. I know that's probably really, really annoying, but it's allergies and everything in Ohio is in bloom. Not today, because yesterday it was 70 and today it's 30. I'm not even exaggerating. It's absolutely ridiculous. And, um, yeah, Alfred, there's somebody the same age as you are. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, King Sniper wanted to know, it was Base Man's generous giveaway donation of an uncirculated 1963 Benji half dollar. Wow. Amazing. And we've got more giveaways where that comes from. So keep, keep watching. All right. Maybe we should move on to quarters. I mean, because we're already in... How long are we into the stream? I don't even know. 48 minutes. Oh, okay. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. I just, you know, I know people have stuff to do. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we don't have anything to do anymore. Uh, Mary Me says, perfect. I can't wait to get to Ohio and experience that perfect weather. Yep. It really is. I mean, most places in the Midwest, it's Crazy. Like yesterday, we have a backyard, like decorative pond um, that's got a couple little waterfalls in it. And I always cover it up with netting in the fall to keep the leaves out of it. But, you know, it stays up over the winter. So yesterday I opened up the pond, did all that kind of stuff. And today it's, you know, overnight, it had a little layer of real thin layer of ice on it. So I mean, you just, you just never know what you're going to get. Nick Molnar says, I don't, I don't have anything to do. Penny dog. 
I don't have anything to do. Just keep streaming. Okay. I always feel like, uh, you know, I don't want to waste anybody's time, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. So, but then I remember it's Saturday and you know, you, everybody you can come and go as you please. I do appreciate people that stick around and watch the stream. It is really awesome. And I love, seriously, when I say this, I really honestly do look forward to this and Wednesdays every week. And I'm uh, going to start adding another day. Probably just be hunting pennies because that's all I can really get. <laughs> Crappy Tim says, so you're having koi fish for supper. Yeah, you know what? People always ask in the decorative pond if we um, have fish and we don't because that would just be one more thing to keep alive, quite honestly. So um, we have lots of awesome frogs. What? Saka Plata is in the house. Good morning, Saka Plata. Everybody say good morning to our New York friend, Saka Plata, his family, and Miss Gigi, who helps him out on his live stream. But what we do have in our um, decorative pond out back, we have what's called Japanese, Japanese trapdoor snails. And they get to be about that big. You can't tell how big that is. Let's see, that's a quarter. They're about that big. And um, they're very slow reproducers, so they don't take over your pond or anything, but they are amazing algae eaters. So that's what we have. Now, last summer was the first year that I got them. And they say that they can survive the winter, but <clears throat> yesterday when I cleaned up the pond, I did not see any in there. So they could just be hiding under rocks or they could have got a cab to somewhere warmer. It's, it's hard to tell. There has not been much interesting in these roles. We have found a uh, Baham Bahamian, Bahamian, is that right? Coin, but that is about it. I'm checking for W's. Oh man, again, I got a, my nose itches. I don't wanna scratch my, I don't wanna scratch my face. Ah, nothing like the, the smooth texture of a paper towel on your face. Ah, there we go. Thank you, allergies. Thank you, allergies. Okay, what else is going on in the stream? Again, so happy to see you guys here. And like I said, I probably should show more stuff because I have a loaded loaded show for you um who remembers last wednesday's social distancing movie recommendation i started this skit the skit this uh segment segment last wednesday in light of social distancing and people are like wait i don't get it penny dog social distancing and movie recommendations i explain. So here's the thing. If you watch, I guarantee if you watch these movies in your house or anywhere, really nobody want to be near you because these movies are so bad. Reman 6700 says, <laughs> Tilly Cheese got it right. Marry me frog. Close. Alistair Black says frog. Uh, Belle, she's pretty shy. I will try to get her. This will help. This will help. Uh, Rocky Superstar sent this to me and, um, Sometimes if I squeak it, if she's not way upstairs, she'll come running because she thinks it's, I don't know what she thinks it is, a toy. So we'll try that a little bit later. So yes, so on Wednesday, our social distancing movie recommendation was uh, Trog. And here is today's, I actually, do you guys, are, are you aware of something called Rift Tracks? Rift Tracks is uh, the guys that, that made Mystery Science Theater 3000 back in the 90s and the early 2000s. Um, they branched off and started doing basically online uh, videos of riffing movies. And so they do live shows now and they basically live stream them. So if they don't come to your town, you can go to your local movie theater and get, catch the live stream of it. And I did that, I think it was last, last fall. 
on this movie. So today's baseman says my ethernet wire just got here. Today's social distancing movie recommendation is Octoman. Wow. All right. Does anybody want to see a clip from it? No, we don't. No, you're going to have to anyway. Let's see <laughs> if I can find where it is. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Wow, that, that is high class entertainment. And if you're, if you're concerned because you think there's a lot of this in the movie, I guarantee you there's not any of this in the movie. It's all this. <laughs> and why wouldn't they just drive away? That's a good point. Um, I think they're, they're, RV was broken down or something. Uh, who knows, Steve, you're, you're trying to throw logic into a movie called Octoman. And I really honestly don't remember that is a D movie. So, um, and I think when I looked up the clip, I think for now it is actually, uh, on YouTube. Somebody has loaded it. So maybe later today, totally looks legit. Says Susie Q 96. There you go just if you're looking for something later to do. And again, it's it's pretty um, family friendly, but that is the Penny Dog social distancing movie recommendation for today. Yep, it says PG, does it? Okay, yeah, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Nobody is young enough in here to remember that movie. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember it growing up, but there's so many bad movies out there and it's on DVD too. And would you believe that I actually bought that? I mean, obviously I bought it, I didn't steal it, but, uh, I, I looked for it and found it on, on eBay, <laughs> but I didn't spend a lot of money. So don't worry about that. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. I have not found much interesting. This is why I don't really like looking for quarters. I know you people that like whew, airs and varieties. I will look for them later, but this is, I would rather, if I can't do halves, I would rather do nickels. So I'm looking forward to getting past these next six rolls. <laughs> but Alfred R it wasn't, and it was close to being five. I think it was $7. And uh, I have a movie or a series coming in that I ordered in the next couple of days that was was highlighted in Name That Show. So I can't wait to watch that. You guys probably remember Manimal. That was one of the first uh, Name That Shows that I, I highlighted. So I can't wait. I just had to break down. I had to break down and just buy. It was only one season. So... Yeah, you see a bell sticker. Yep, it's Susie Q96. This is Bell's Do I Smell Skunk? Do I Smell Skunk? Bella, Bella. Listen, so far, yes. There we go. Woo, trippy. Yep, Do I Smell Skunk? Yeah, that is Bell's skunk sticker. She was previously on strike because she was so mad that Brutus was the hero with his silver dirt face. So she insisted that she get her own sticker. So that is why we now have the, do I smell skunk holographic stickers. And if you would like one, just send me an email at webrules at gmail.com .com, and uh, with your mailing address, I'll be happy to send that to you. And if you would like your very own along with it, I'll just add it to there. Your 
Penny Dog, Back Scratcher, Pink Can Opener. Uh, send a donation of any amount, whatever you think it's worth or is fair. And I'm being serious when I say that, for real. Um, to webrules at gmail.com. That's PayPal, friends and family. And I'll be happy to ship that out to you. Uh, I know a lot of folks aren't working or they're working fewer hours or whatever. So now is not the time to uh, get greedy or expect much from people. So Nick Molnar says, sticker, sending out my stickers next week along with the surprise. Nick Molnar, awesome. And I have a note, sir. I'm sending yours out as well. That one's real shiny. Not Denver. Oh gosh, come on. Wow, this is gonna start being like the, the penny dog stream where she finds nothing. Okay, I have a feeling though, the, that first half of that box, the nickel box uh, from Wednesday, I did find a war nickel. So there is hope. There is hope that the second half of this nickel box holds fantastic things. We shall see. Jeremy Albritton, hello. How are you doing? I also want to know, how are you guys hanging in there? Is everybody well stocked? Is everybody doing good? I hope you're you're doing stuff. Uh, you know, in addition to keeping yourself educated as far as what's going on, but that you're having some fun, um, you know, doing some fun things. And that got me to thinking, I hear people, you know, saying now, well, <laughs> Jenny Hansen says, oh, I'm well stocked. I'm just bored. I'm just bored. Somebody asked for Belle and I hear her whining outside the door. So hang on a second. We'll see if we can get her to not be shy. Hold please. Bella, come here. Come here, baby. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Come here. Do you want to say hi? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Here. Let me pick you up. Ugh. Here we go. Here's Belle. This, yeah, look, Belle. Look. And if you want to see her go absolutely mad, this, <laughs> while wow, the dog talks too. Come here. Whoa. Hold on, hold on. You're, oh no, the dog head fell off. <laughs> come here, Belle, come here, come here. Put your paws up here, thank you. All right, so Rocky Superstar sent me this dancing dog and Belle hates it. Come here, Bella, you don't even wanna look at it, do you? Come here. <laughs> out <laughs> oh Matt Arkist is back from cleaning up puppy poo from the floor <laughs> or puppy pee sorry uh crappy Tim she is a sweetie she's a super sweet girl she's a little sensitive I think this will get her back Bella I knew it look come here come here you want it you got to come up here you got to come up here no, you're not here. Go ahead. Take it. Take it. No, she doesn't want it. All right. Where's the goat? I'm serious. All governments just need to issue these to every citizen. Where's, where's Bobble Dog's head? Oh, here we go. Put him back. Boop. There. And all is well. Let's, let me close the door. Sorry, or you're gonna hear blah, 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 blah. Nobody wants to hear all that. And I'm back. Yes, S. Robin says, don't forget to hit that like button. Wow, Belle managed to fuzz up my mat here. Good Lord, that dog sheds, seriously sheds big time big time we've got 54 people watching now and i want to thank each and every one of you for joining me on this saturday silver sort of search uh i didn't expect to find any silver in these uh rolls of quarters but 
it's still fun to go through them. You know, I'm mostly looking at this point for W's, but I will go back and look for some more airs as you requested, as you requested. All right. What's everybody doing this weekend? So I was thinking about having a virtual happy hour with my friends. Um, Cause there's a group of people that we always hang out with, but everybody's stuck at home and with StreamYard, I can connect up to, I can have up to six guests basically. And I was thinking that might be fun. And it's also, is Shelly, is my friend Shelly DeLuca still in the house? Uh, her birthday is coming up and we wanted to celebrate it. We're not going to be able to be around together to celebrate it. So we thought it might be fun to celebrate it all together virtually. So Alistair says, well, Sunday I'll be at silver nitrates auction. He, I guess his auction was canceled last Sunday. Hopefully he, he has it again this Sunday. That would be awesome. Hopefully, hopefully. Pardon me. My mouth gets really dry when I talk a lot for a lot of different reasons. Oh man, look at that. That's sad. Whew. That was, I'm going to guess that was on the, the road somewhere. <laughs> Alfred R says lots of coins, coin streams tonight and tomorrow. Just saying, heck yeah. NCFX STI, you know, alcohol kills germs. The more you drink, the more people you can have over. That is yeah, right. <laughs> the more people you can have over. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. All right. This is the last quarter. And I'm not going to say that I'm happy. Okay. An interstate coin. What? Silver nitrate. We like lurkers, not creepers. It's silver nitrate in the house is having a coin auction. And silver nitrate, are you streaming after me? today because I think sometimes you you do but I've lost track because a lot of things have gotten all out of sorts all sorts of out of sorts so that would be cool and if anybody in chat is um, streaming today or this weekend or upcoming let us know let us know <laughs> baseman 64 moonshine is undefeated Yep, we all knew that was going to happen, right? Okay, so let me get these nickels out. We still have, whoa, another half box of nickels. We're going to do a mid-box giveaway, though. Let me get these, these guys out first. And this giveaway, hold on, this might be loud. Oh, no, it wasn't loud. Good. Boom. Uh, this giveaway, again, all the giveaways today are sponsored by our friend, Baseman64, who so kindly sent me a bunch of cool stuff. So, Alistair Black, check PayPal. I will do that, sir. Hey, um, Jenny Hansen, that is so sad. I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Um, you guys are awesome for real. <laughs> uh, MRE man 44. Uh, I have a screw loose. Do you have any sort of tool for that? I do. And I'll be happy to send you one MRE man. Also, um, I don't want to say your name out loud and let's, let's, you know, uh, Oh, that's your, is that your actual name? Okay, Alistair, new new things learned every day. Well, Alistair, you are so generous. Thank you so much for the donation. Wow, I really appreciate that. Seriously, you guys are awesome. Speaking of generosity, this compliments of Baseman64 is our mid-box giveaway. It is an uncirculated 1964 Kennedy half dollar. All right. Let's listen as turd tells us our rules for today's giveaway. Hey, loyal viewers. It's time for a giveaway. We're going to put a range of numbers in the chat. Once you see the range, make your guess, but only guess once. If you guess more than once, we will only accept your first guess. 
We follow Price is Right rules here, i.e. the closest without going over wins. In the event of a tie, we will select the person who guessed first as they appear on Penny Dog's screen. Not your screen, not your grandma's screen, not your creepy neighbor's screen. Okay, everyone ready? Let's go! <laughs> I see somebody wants to know where is Brutus. I I have called his his people. I have asked if he would like to make another appearance. I think he's probably back in the green room right now. Let's put in the range. We've got 59 people watching now. I appreciate every single one of you here. Let's do the range, only guess once, of 50 to 150. Boom. There you go. And it's not 43. <laughs> Jenny Hansen says, oh, I love Brutus. All right. One guess, everybody, between 50 and 150. And I will be, once again, using the random number generator compliments of the Google, since I tend to pick the same numbers over and over and over again. Brutus, hello. Your fans have been asking for you. There you are, buddy. Here we go. We're doing a mid-box giveaway. What do you think about that? Do you, oh, Brutus says that it's been a little bit boring without finding any interesting things in the in the quarter rolls, and he hopes up that I hopes that I step up my game. Okay. Whew, man, tough crowd here. Tough crowd. And Belle's here too. Come here, Belle. You want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Oh, she's shy. She's a shy. Shy dog, she didn't want to have anything to do with it. Hi, Bella. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Yep. Brutus is huge. Jenny says that you're gorgeous. Yep. Is everybody in? Pick a number between one or not between 50 and 150. Papa Giorgio says 112. Okay. I think you ready to type in stop? Will you just type it in for me? I wish you could learn how to type. That would make things a lot easier. <laughs> oh, it's Susie Q. 90, 96 says, oh, she's not shy. Just wait you wait and see. Yeah, Susie Q has something interesting planned for Bella in one of her uh, metal detecting videos. So I'm looking forward to seeing it. <laughs> all right, is everybody in? I'm going to say stop. And then, all right, Brute, the show must go on, buddy. Maybe we'll see you later. Okay. Bye, kids. And then let's go over to the random number generator over here. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to put in 50, 150, generate 99. Somebody should have picked that. I'm sure somebody picked that, right? Okay, I'm scrolling up It's because it's on my screen, not your screen, not your grandma's screen, or your creepy neighbor's screen. Hmm. Hmm. Closest without going over. I see it's Susie Q with 96. All right. Let me, let me scroll up one more time. I like to double check everything. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Hey, it's Susie Q. <laughs> Silverleaf says 99. Uh, it's Susie Q, right? That's what I see. Absolutely. It's Susie Q. Congrats. Woof. Congratulations. It's Susie Q. Let me get rid of that. And we're back here. Okay. Let me write that down. Where's my, and again, Susie Q, it's a 64 uncirculated silver Kennedy half dollar compliments of our friend, Baseman 64. Okay, it's Susie Q 96. Uh, Brutus needs to learn how to shut the door when he leaves. So I apologize. Hold on, everybody. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Are you guys ready to dig into these nickels? Because I'm thinking that we're going to, let me take that out from under there. Put this weedy back. Because I like looking at wheat scents. Um, I showed you. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that I'm still on track here. I'm going to do a few rolls. And then, of course, I have more stuff to show you. Of course I do. Of course. Come on. So I think, um, like I said, for the time being, it's probably just going to be me streaming alone for a while. Uh, Brutus's mom has lots of stuff going on in her life, dealing and uh, helping. I shouldn't say dealing. I should say helping her mom and stepdad. They just sold their house in Florida and Canadian. I do keep all my foreign coins that I find. And let me show you a little book that I have. Um, but she's been busy doing all of that stuff and helping them find a place and getting up here and you know, that takes a lot of logistics. So no, Matt Arcus, it's not weird that you're craving chicken fries. I don't know what chicken fries are, but um, that sounds delicious. So my sister-in-law gave me for Christmas, just gave me this little coin album and it's teeny tiny. It only fits like certain size coins. And I've just started to put all of my that fit all my foreign coin finds in here. Some of them are from metal detecting, as you can see that one right there, looks like it came out of the ground. But a lot of them came from uh, coin roll hunting and coin stars and all that kind of stuff. Oh, there's tokens in here too. So they're from Burger King, basically thin st strips of chicken made to look like fries and they're delicious, yum. I bet they'd be good with mashed potatoes too. Because I could eat potatoes with every single meal. Can you tell that I'm an Ohio girl? Because I could eat taters. I could eat taters with any meal. I swear. Taters for breakfast. Taters for lunch. Taters for dinner. <laughs> I could do it. For real. Absolutely. Thanks, Debbie. Jenny wishes that she owned a coin star machine. That would be kind of fun. That would, <laughs> well, maybe you can. Wait, temporal coins, you just ordered wings. Are they being delivered? Are you picking them up or what? What? Because that tater salad. Mm, heck yeah, I do. My mom makes the best potato salad. Best potato salad y'all have ever eaten. Yum. When taters on a bagel, you can eat taters anytime. Uh, for those of you that grew up in the 90s, you know exactly where that came from, coin hunting couple. Pizza rolls, right? It was called pizza rolls. When pizza's on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime. I forget what the name brand was, but it was just like little tiny bagels with made for pizza. And apparently, when when pizza's on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime. So, oh, temporal coins. Now you're talking. Says, what about a good steak and a beer and a loaded mashed potato? I mean, loaded, loaded, loaded. Oh, temporal coins got DoorDash coming. That's nice. I know all of the um, delivery people around here. They're just setting it out on your porch now, so you don't even have to see them anymore which is a, an introvert's dream, isn't it? Bagel Bites, boom, thank you, Bagel Bites. <laughs> I need to write that down because it's a ridiculous ad campaign and it needs to be highlighted, Bagel Bites. Because when pizza's on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime. That's the rule. That is the rule. Okay. You did a potato bar the other night. That sounds delicious. Yum, with like bacon bits on it. Man, see, this is the stuff that when I stream with Turd, I can't talk about because she's a vegan. So, and then she just kind of ignores me. 
So let's all talk about um, non-vegan stuff while she's not here. <laughs> so last week, oh man, I apologize. My nose is itching and I know it's because I can't scratch my face. You guys know how that is. So I apologize. My deepest apologies. Nobody wants to see that. But on Wednesday, if you guys remember, I wanted to show you a new segment of workplace training videos and the sound didn't work. And I really wanted to show you guys this one because it is so um, timely for what is going on today. And I venture to think that most of us are not experiencing this level of uh, customer service, particularly in the paper products aisle. But and I don't know, this was from like a chain of grocery stores that had several different brands, but this is a uh, talking to people, how you should talk to customers when you're out of a particular product. Enjoy. Well, I have the store coupon for paper towels and I can't seem to find any. They should be right down this aisle. Let's take a look. Okay. We seem to be out of them right now. Oh darn, I have this coupon. Well, let me check to see if we have any more in the back room. If not, I'm sure we can accommodate you somehow so that we can give you a rain check or perhaps a substitute. Oh, would you? That would be wonderful. I'm sorry, ma'am, but we are out of the advertised towel. But I'd be happy to offer you another brand at the same price. Would that be acceptable? Yes, that would be just fine. No. No. First thing that strikes me is, oh, darn, I have this coupon. Suddenly she turns into the most dramatic... 1940s actress ever. Oh darn, I have this coupon. And then the second thing that is fantastic is that the stock boy goes and gets the manager who's wearing a suit and tie. Mwah. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Let's see. I'm catching up on chat. And Gallego says, Penny Dog, you can do a Mystery Science Theater 3000 show about 70s and 80s shows and commercials. I would definitely watch it. You know, Aiden, that would be my jam. I, I could rock that. So I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind, sir. <laughs> can I get a rain check on silver for the stream? <laughs> what? <laughs> NCFXSTI, you're going to have to get... <laughs> You're going to have to get a rain check, I think, unless we find a war nickel here pretty darn soon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ellen Reiser is back from the doggy play date. Hello, Ellen. It's good to see you. Where are the Tide Pods? I'm hungry. Mmm, Tide Pods. Can you believe that was even a thing? What is going on in the world? Okay, come on. We are looking for war nickels. We're looking for buffaloes. We're looking for semi-key and key dates. Let's just do this. I'm feeling lucky. The first half of this box uh, produced one war nickel. And I think there's got to be more, right? There has got to be more. I see a metal detecting weight. Oh, uh, wait. Hold on. I haven't flipped it over yet. I can't really. I've got to be. Oh, it's a 48. Womp, womp, womp. See, that's why I wear these. If I didn't wear these, because these are reading glasses, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to see anything. It would be a totally different show. Totally different show. Oh. All right. Well, it is a 48, which is cool. But it's a 48. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, D. Oh, gosh. Fine, 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 fine. Temporal Coins has to go out today for the grocery store and the drugstore. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Oh, man. Who? Southern Coin says, just saying the Tide Pod thing was one of the stupidest things my generation came up with. <laughs> I'm glad that you're you're claiming that on behalf of your generation, but I think every generation. Um, I know, base man. I know that's. I was hoping it was a 43, and it was a 48. But because I couldn't see it that well, I had to look at it under the scope. And I should probably put 
let's see. Let me find something good to put under the scope. Let me put up the EOS, the end of stream giveaway, which is, oh man, you guys are going to lose your minds. 1970D. Let me see if I can get this a little bit. Everybody wants to see my arm, my pasty Ohio arm that hasn't seen the sun in like four months. Just what everyone wants to see. There we go. So that is end of stream giveaway is a 1970D uh, uncirculated Kennedy half dollar. Wow. Compliments of our friend, base man, Storm and CA, you missed it. You missed it. Should we play? Should we play the name that show for Storm and CA? Because since I, I told you all what Storm and said earlier and that I jinxed him for saying it out loud. So should we give him another chance? He's the one. Nick, are you out of here? Look who's here too. Freedom Coins. Everybody be cool. There's some mod in the house. Oh, wow, Nick. Have fun. Go get some fresh air, buddy. Pause spare time. How are you? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the show. If there's anybody in the <laughs> there's anybody in the chat that you're not YouTube friends with, please go reach out, make friends. 1946. Very nice, very nice. So oh, silver nitrates explaining what an 1970 NIFCA is. That's great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And silver nitrate, again, I did that great thing that I do where I ask questions and then don't follow up with the answer. Silver nitrate, are you streaming after me today? And I promise I will watch for the answer. There we go. All right. I'm thinking, you guys, I am thinking that we are going to find, I'm, Michael Kittle is. Okay, silver nitrate. So we'll have to do a penny dog raid on Michael Kittle rare coins after this. Absolutely. Storm and CA. I'm going to show this again just for you. This is this is a time where you can <laughs> you can reclaim your title from I think Alistair as the man who knows every show that I uh, highlight on here. I want to see if you know what 70s show this is. It only ran for one season. I'm sure you can guess why, but here you go. Let's see Storm and CA. For millions of years, Earth was fertile and rich. Then pollution and waste began to take their toll. Only a handful of scientists remain. This is their achievement. A mobile storehouse of scientific knowledge, manned by a highly trained crew of young people. Entry number one. I, Jonah, Ruth, Samuel, and Adam are fully aware of the dangers we face as we venture into unknown, maybe even hostile areas. <laughs> yes, it did include a monkey. And Storm and CA is, says, oh, I watched that. He's looking to get his mojo back. And Papa Cryptos is heading out. Papa Cryptos, thanks for hanging out with us. I sure do appreciate that. Storm and CA, Storm and CA. <laughs> Come on. No, Jenny, uh, not Babylon. Yeah, it's the Ark. It's Ark 2. Ark 2. A fantastic movie with a chimpanzee in it. Because what would a 70s or 80s show be without... The chimpanzee, Storm and CA. You know what? You know what? I'll just make them easier for now. From now on, I'll just make them easier. I'm teasing. <laughs> I'm teasing. Come on, we got to find some good stuff here. 58. Nope. Okay. Come on, we got to find some good stuff. So, like I was explaining earlier, both banks where I pick up my halves. The people, these are two different types or two different banks completely. The people that order the coins this past week were both out. And so nobody ordered my halves. That is why I have a hodgepodge of 
pennies, nickels, and quarters, and you know, Karsten, we can solve that right now. I don't want anybody to miss anything on this show. I'll even get out feet. All right, this is probably what we're missing. Temporal coins, thank you. Oh, the mailman's here. Again, thank you for all the people that are still, yay, working on the front lines, trying to make life better. My uh, postal carrier out there, his name's Brian. I'm gonna wave to him. Hi, Brian. Thank you. Rings the doorbell, makes the dog goes nuts. Thanks. Everybody that is still having to work, um, people that are working to just keep things going. I wanted to stop and say thank you. And here we go. Uh, Storm and CA, Ohio is not on lockdown yet, but we tend to be um, modeling things after California. Uh, so it would not surprise me if Monday or Tuesday, uh, you know, that we're there because almost everything has been followed right after New York and or um, California. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it is, it is what it is, man. This looks really weird. Doesn't it? <laughs> Karsten, you are welcome. <laughs> Whenever I keep my hands in my drawers, I get funny looks. I bet you do. I bet people call the police. I bet. <laughs> Freedom coins. Tiny hands look amazing with nickels. Yeah, they really do, don't they? There's a couple old ones in there. They're either old ones or metal detecting finds. Like right there. That's probably just dirty. This is weird. I need to paint these nails. Oh, okay. <laughs> you guys are so funny. You really, really are. This is just, uh, I like I said, and I always say, even before all this, I look forward to doing this every single week. And I try to, ooh, uh-oh, where'd it go? 41. It's an oldie. Mm -hmm. Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. Very nice, though. Um, I try to, you know, have the segments on that you ask for most and that you like. And I think it's just uh, maybe now more than ever, it's important to just have some sort of outlet to do something that doesn't stress you out uh, and that is fun and that you find fun. So, and I know a lot of people that have kids that are having to be teachers now. Oh my goodness. I can't imagine that, especially if I had to do math because we all know just like Barbie says, math is hard. All right, these are making my fingers sweat. I'm gonna turn to feet. <laughs> All right, here we go. Storm and CA says, I had my first giveaway last night during my stream. When we reached 25 likes, that's great, Storm and CA, congratulations. And again, if there's people in here, <laughs> if there are people in here that you uh, are not YouTube friends with, ew. This is this is probably sending somebody into shock right now, seeing feet and whatever crud that is. This is why we wear gloves, even before all this stuff. Ugh. Yuck. Good Lord. Come on, people. I'm getting... It's string, but it's still disgusting. <laughs> Ugh. Ew, it's on my table. Ugh. All right. Toe jam, lucky string. Oh yeah, I should have put it in a in a flip like Rob does. Oh, I don't know that I could do that to be honest with you. <laughs> I'd have to give it away so I didn't have to look at it. Yeah, Brutus's mom says yuck. Absolutely yuck. Oh, another beaver. There we go. 1985. So far, those have been. That has been my only <laughs> g-string. My only finds are Canadians. Fla Don't forget to floss your toes, everybody. Important. Wash your hands and floss your toes. 
It's very important. Uh, everybody gather around your kids so they can annoy you with this. It's time for Bubble Butt. Bubble butt. Oh, I just keep singing it. <laughs> oh boy. Um, freedom coins. I don't believe that I did, but I certainly will. Oh yeah. I have been reminded it's because it wasn't on my sheet that today I am all by myself. I thought I had that. Where is it? Did I not load it? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. As you know, <laughs> Treasure Turd is not here. And no, that's nope. Hold on. I think I uploaded the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm getting help from my executive producer, you know. Oh, Freedom Coins, thank you so much. Yeah, Freedom Coins is having a 500 subscriber giveaway. So everybody, he put the link. Everybody be cool. There's some mod in the house uh, in chat. So please go check it out. Uh, Freedom Coins, and I hope I don't jinx you like I just jinxed uh, Storm and CA. But Freedom Coins is one of the most, most luckiest. Yes, that's a phrase. Uh, coin Roll Hunters ever seriously where he lives is where all the coins go all the silver goes <laughs> okay let's see if that loaded um mm -mm -mm. nope it didn't i had a little all by myself uh gif for treasure turd not being here but it doesn't seem to load so I apologize, but I have a feeling that I'm going to have plenty of opportunity to be showing that in the future. And I apologize because you're going to be probably seeing this setup, this setup uh, more than ever, <laughs> you know, going forward. So it is what it is. <laughs> right, Storm and CA? Yeah, exactly. We would all like to have his mojo, those fine and coins and all the silver mojo. That would be awesome. <laughs> Crappy Tim was so kind and sent me a new screaming goat, and I promise not to throw this one in the trash accidentally. <laughs> Oops. I promise. Promise, I promise. <laughs> um, I have, is Karsten still here? Let's see. Oh yeah. I see Karsten just posted Karsten today's what the, what is a German edition? Yes, sir. This is all for you. Or what the, what is a German edition? There's so much interesting. Oops interesting content on the interwebs and i found this uh i think it's like germany's got talent or some something like that uh but <laughs> he says oh my god mouth open i sure will s robbins absolutely it's not the german m music video but uh <laughs> Toss Woody's. Alfred, please email that to me. Please, please, please. All right, here is today's What the What. It's the German edition. Good. Einen noch, Andy und Holger. Holger, da kriegen wir zwei hin. Machen wir weiter. Hallo. Und Nikki, Dirk, noch ein und ab und nächste Runde. 
those Germans, those, <laughs> he says it's shame. Sorry, guys. Sorry about all that. <clears throat> What's Nikki? Nikki, he said Nikki like three times. What is that? <laughs> Drunk darts game. I love how they're wearing helmets. Like you could get seriously injured with a plunger. I mean, that's a little excessive. That is a little much. What does, um, what does Nikki mean, Karsten? What did I just saw, says Jack Beal. <laughs> and, you know, if you can find like 10 guys, 10 shirtless guys over the age of, I'm going to guess 45, um, and that have their own helmets and you have enough plungers, you can too do that at your house or your backyard. And I think we all have some extra time. So... What a crappy skill. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, Carson says that's name. So Nikki means name. I gotcha. So maybe they were reading off their names or something as they were throwing plungers at their backs. <clears throat> Alistair. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Alistair. There are ways that you could technically get injured with that. But, oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. These... These uh, nickels aren't doing much for us, are they? Dang. I really miss half dollars, but I'm just going to have to adjust. I'm going to have to improvise, adapt, and overcome. Boom. I have no turd with me. Uh, I have no halves, but the show must go on. The show must absolutely go on. And you can see that scrolling down. Maybe Nikki was a tosser. Uh, oop, upside down. If you would like to support the channel in any way, and you would like your very own penny dog, coin roll opener, paint can opener, back scratcher, ear picker, please send a donation of any monetary amount. And I'm being completely serious when I say that. Uh, now is not the time to get greedy because everybody's going through stuff. I'll be happy to send this your way. It would be my pleasure. So it's webrules at gmail.com is the PayPal. Friends and family. Yay. <laughs> Papa Giorgio says, well, when you're using the tiny hands, it looks like you're hunting half dollars. Oh, uh, maybe that's what I should do. Just pretend. But just pretend that I'm hunting half dollars. Temporal coin says, I'm here. You are here. What did I <laughs> what did I miss? What did I miss? I missed part of that. I think I missed that. Okay. We've got seven rolls left after this. We've got our end of stream giveaway. How long have we been streaming? An hour and 42 minutes. You guys are awesome. You're rock stars. And we have 56 people watching now. I appreciate each and every one of you. And let's look at that. This is the end of stream giveaway. Compliments of our friend, Baseman. 1970, uh, D, wow, uncirculated, silver, Kennedy half dollar, wow. <sighs> All right, let's do this. What's everybody making for lunch, dinner today? I'm smoking a pork butt for pulled pork and barbecue pork to be frozen for future meals. Ray man, now I'm just jealous. I have no idea. I made a chicken and noodles, homemade chicken and noodles last night, so I have a feeling I'm going to be seeing that again <laughs> in my future today and possibly tomorrow. You never know. We shall see. We shall see. Yeah. What is everybody else doing today? Oh, when those, sometimes those 1960s nickels are so worn down, they look like they're much, much older. Bomber. What? Mandy Carnes. I'll be right over. Mandy Carnes, that sounds delicious. I'll be right over. Just make a plate for me. Don't wait. Don't wait, though. You go ahead and eat. So <clears throat> chicken noodles. Yes, Boston baked beans. That's the only way to eat chicken noodles is over mashed potatoes. Absolutely. Sublime Bad Dog says making some deer jerky. There you go. Papa Giorgio riblets and potatoes on the grill. Oh, my gosh. You know how I feel about taters. I love me some taters. You guys, you have no idea. Baked taters, mashed taters, fried taters, tater tots. Uh, what other kind of taters we got? 
but any sort of tater. Now I'm on a, I feel like I'm an extra in Forrest Gump, but seriously, me and mashed potatoes are close, close friends. Oh, making chili this afternoon, Jenny Hansen says. And you know what? I even eat chili over mashed potatoes. <laughs> I told you, I told you that I was a huge fan of the taters for sure. Imperian Label says, nothing better than a handful of tater tots, tater chips. Oh, yeah, tater, of course. Tater chips. Hmm, absolutely. Oh, uh, what are the kind with all the cheese? Um, oh my gosh, why can't I remember that? I never make it, but the potatoes that you cook in a casserole with all the cheese, that's delicious. I'm, just, I'm sure somebody knows that. Empyrean Label, how are you doing? 1941. Almost there, you guys. We're just dancing around. Scallop. Thank you, Fleabag scallop potatoes. <laughs> We're just dancing around a war nickel. We just can't find another one. We found one in the first half of the box. We've only got four rolls left. So earlier I showed you Bell. Bell made an appearance and I told you that uh, our friend Rocky Superstar sent this dancing dog toy. It lights up, it sings, and it does indeed dance. And it is really awesome. And Belle cannot stand it. I mean, she's obsessed with it, but she likes to try to knock it over. She's not successful every time. So here is Penny Dog's home videos, Belle versus the dancing dog. I hope you enjoy. Belle versus dance dog. Let's see who wins. <laughs> Round one goes to the dancing dog. <laughs> hey, I see Wooster's in the house. Hello, Wooster. How are you? It's good to see you. Yeah, she can't stand that thing. She, I mean, she loves it, but can't stand, you know, it's, it's a love-hate relationship. We've got four rolls left. Then we're going to do our end of stream giveaway. <laughs> and... I want to show you one other thing since we're talking about animals. It's one of my favorite accounts on Instagram. 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 Is it not called Instagram? Um, Instagram called Doggos Being Doggos. I love them. If you just want a little clip daily of, you know, really cute animals, another Canadian. 1985, that makes three. Then go follow Doggos Being Doggos on Instagram. Here's what they post the other day, a little corgi, well, another dog making fun of a little corgi. It's super cute. Come on, that's cute. Come on, you guys know that that's super cute. That is super, super cute. Oh boy. Karsten says, I'll upload a mail call also with your sendings, Penny Dog. Oh, thanks, Karsten. That is awesome. I will keep an eye out for that. Yes, it's SusieQ96 says, I'm uploading a video called Simplex. Simplex in the sand. Um, Y'all want to watch to <laughs> till the end to see a special guest uh, appearance by Bella. That is awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. We will all check it out. Again, one of those, those 64s that look 
much older than they actually are. Let's move that down. Okay, you guys, we've got two rolls left after this one. I appreciate you hanging out for this whole stream. We didn't find anything in the quarters except for um, a coin from the Bahamas. We found three Canadian beavers, eh? Uh, in our half box of nickels. Alistair Black, um, has anyone seen Cutie Cat lately? I actually got an email from her. She is doing okay, um, but I am sure she would appreciate it if you reached out to her, if you have her email address. And if you don't, then um, just hit me up and I'll be happy to send it to you. But she is okay. But uh, I think that she could use some friends right now. So that's good that you asked. Okay, coin hunting couple, when are you streaming again? Please tell us, coin hunting couple, if you have not seen one of their mini live streams, please do. And I'm still waiting, Andy. When does the snake get his own sweater? Okay, don't tell me you don't have time. Okay, don't tell me you don't have time because I know you do. Calling you out, girl. Knit that snake a sweater. What? Mm, that sounds like, never mind. Don't repeat that. Okay, here we go. Last roll. Um, ugh, dirty 64. Never fails, never fails. Temporal Coin says, let's get Penny Dog to 4,000 watch hours. Yeah, if you, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I'm, I've got, Less than a thousand hours to go to uh, be eligible to be monetized. So um, I do have playlists set up on my account, so I don't expect you to actually watch them. But if you want to, you know, if you're not using your PC, maybe just set it to, I would log out of your YouTube account. So it's anonymous. It doesn't know that you've already watched it perhaps. And uh, just go hit play. That would be super cool. And thank you. So Coin Hunt and Couple says live on Sunday, 1 p.m. Pacific after doing a battle with Nub Hunt's treasure a little later today. Oh, that's cool. When is um, Nub's uh, battle? When is it? Do you know? <laughs> okay, you guys, here we go. We are at the end of the stream, but I want to show you one last thing. As you know, we're a lot of us that are working from home now are experiencing, especially if we don't have kids, a lot of time to maybe do some things, pick up on some hobbies that we uh, have been putting to the side. So I started to think, you know, Guinness Book of World Records has a lot of really random records that we could aspire to maybe beat. And so I checked it out. And this is one that I think that the average person can do. Obviously, there are some Guinness Book of World Records that for like fastest uh, 50 yard dash or whatever that the average person, you know, we're not gonna be able to do. But I think this one, I think this one, um, we could, we one of us could do this. Here we go. This is the Boredom Busters from the Guinness Book of World Records. Wow, life goals, right? Life goals right there. Most straws shoved in your front hole. 650, come on, I'm sure somebody can do 651. You just put your mind to it, right? Just put your mind to it. Okay, I think it is, we are now at the end of stream, <laughs> dreams do come true. Thank you, Nate, for reminding Andy. Also a reminder <laughs> every week, Aceman64 says, that really sucks. <laughs> yes, his parents must be so proud. I'm also wondering why he's wearing like a karate outfit because I don't think that required a karate outfit. I'm, I'm pretty sure that wasn't necessary. He could probably do that in anything, any sort of attire. 
Okay, so <laughs> compliments of Baseman 64 is an uncirculated 1970D. Wow, uncirculated, as I said, Kennedy half dollar. If more impressive if they use if they use straws, wool. Oh gosh, that's awful. All right, let's hear for the end of stream giveaway. Let's hear the rules one more time. Hey, loyal viewers, it's time for a giveaway. We're going to put a range of numbers in the chat. Once you see the range, make your guess, but only guess once. If you guess more than once, we will only accept your first guess. We follow Price is Right rules here, i.e. the closest without going over wins. In the event of a tie, we will select the person who guessed first as they appear on Penny Dog's screen. Not your screen, not your grandma's screen, not your creepy neighbor's screen. Okay, everyone ready? Let's go! Yay! Okay, and thank you again to our friend Treasure Tur who did that voiceover for us. And the range is Brutus's mom, don't even know. You're disqualified. <laughs> All right, the range is 250 to 325. <laughs> I'm just trying to mess with your brain. Roy Hathaway says, very nice of you, Baseman64, and it certainly is. I appreciate it. Everybody in the chat appreciates it. Jess W, how's it going? It's good to see you. There might be Michael Kittle, Rare Coins. What? How are you, sir? I'm glad that you're here. And let's see, is there anybody else that I haven't said hi to? I am going to put, uh, what did I say the range was? See if, see, if I don't pick like one through whatever, I just instantly forget. 250 through 325. Okay. I just want to get this all queued up. 325. All right. Everybody guess just one time. It is closest without going over. Price is right rules. And I am doing the random number generator because... People pick, notice that I have a tendency to pick the same numbers. <laughs> guilty. Absolutely guilty. Luke Wilson, I don't know if I said hi to you, but hello. I'm glad that you are here. All right. Is everybody putting in their guests? I'm going to type in stop pretty soon. Is everybody in? All good. Okay. And stop. And the range was 250 to 325, let's see what the Googles has to say and what they pick. 274, interesting. All right, let me scroll up because it's on my screen, not your screen, not your neighbor's screen, or your grandma's screen. All right, did anybody get, well, I see Tilly Cheese got 273. Mm -hmm. Butch got 273. Anybody hit it right on the head, right? on the nose. 275, Alfred R is one over, always exceeding expectations. Jay Lewis, I believe, Jay Lewis got it. Jay Lewis, winner. Congrats, Jay Lewis. I believe you won, did you win last Saturday? I mean, not that it matters, that's absolutely fine. But congratulations, Jay Lewis. That's awesome, let me write this down. And be sure to thank Baseman64. That is awesome. Jay Lewis. And Jay, I do indeed have your mailing address. So no need to email it to me unless you want to. I always, you know, always email me. You guys, one last question for you. Um, I think everybody was open to me doing another stream. Uh, another live stream during the week. And is there, I know that Tuesdays, I don't want to cross over on anybody if I can avoid it. Um, so I'm trying to think, I think Tuesdays are pretty good. Mondays are pretty good in the evenings. Uh, Thursdays get really busy. I'm already on on Wednesdays. Fridays are kind of crazy. So, you know, if you have an opinion, let me know. That would be awesome. Here we go. All right. Rain Man 6700, Temporal Coins, Freedom Coins, Storm and CA, Brutus's Mom, it's Suzy Q96, everybody be cool, there's mods in the house, uh, I've said Freedom Coins, Rain Man 6700, all my mods, Coin Hunting Couple, thank you guys so very much. Um, who else do we have? I want to thank Baseman 6700, especially for providing 
all of today's giveaways and my very good friend, Handy Andy 736, Alfred R, Jeff Beal, Michael Coretta, uh, Cha Ching, Seeker, S. Robbins, Debbie Honeybee, our Southern Bale, Tilly Cheese, Michael Hargis, Matt Arcus, oh, Alistair Black, oh, can't forget him, Michael Kittle, Rare Coins, who I think is streaming later today, Greg King, the king of all Gregs, Mike the Greek, yo. I'm sure I forgot a ton of people, Carrie and Terry Kellogg. Uh, I want to thank you guys all for joining me today and putting up with this new um, setup, which I think is going to be the norm for now. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, let me know. If you didn't, keep it to yourself. Okay. I'm kidding. That's fine. You can let me know that too. Thank you, Crappy Tim, for this. And I will see you in a stream very, very soon. May, let me let me find my thank you. Let me find my thank you. Uh, I made a new one. Here we go. You guys, we'll see you soon. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay away from each other. Okay, six feet. Goodbye.